Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in the Stand Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Today I want to talk to you about case using uh, select case um, and all the benefits to using that and in addition to the benefits that you would normally get using if, then, else. But we can do that with case and then there's just quite a few things. It's just less keystrokes basically but it is a little bit more intuitive once you understand the syntax or the composition of how the phrasing of that code works. So let's do a couple examples. I'm going to take whatever's in A2. Let's just take um, the number 5, okay? And we'll play around with that, um, what we want to do with that. Hit Alt F11 and we'll go ahead and we've got our Visual Basic menu open now. And uh, I want to position this so we can still see what I want to do with this is create a new module for this workbook and in this case we're going to make a new procedure so sub space and give it a name so we'll say k case example one and that's what we'll call it so in this one I will take um, okay so you the syntax is like this. You say select case and you put a space and then you do whatever your whatever it is that you're testing. What do we want to test out? In this case we want to test out whatever is in A2. You can also notate that instead of brackets you could say range A2 using uh, parentheses and quotes. So let's do that. So, we, so we're saying select case and what are we selecting this particular whatever's in this cell which happens, happens to have the value of 5 at this time so now that we've got this we can say well what if um, what if what we are analyzing is the number 1 so case 1 and I'm going to make a new line and I'm going to indent that line because what it, instead of saying case range A2 equals 1, then we're just saying case 1. Well, if it's a 1, then how about um, we'll make B2, the cell B2 equal to the word 1. Okay? Then I'm shift tab to unindent. And I'm going to say what a, what if it was uh, the number three? Well, then how about uh, B two equals more than one and case four? Then we would say too much oops b2 and finally we could do a uh, uh, case else or perhaps just else I don't remember the syntax on this and then uh, what if it's something else b2 equals invalid choice. So it has to be in this case a 1, a 3, or a 4. Otherwise you get this, invalid choice. And we'll say end select, because this whole thing is actually a select select case of this thing. And so what in the, in the case that this thing here is 1, case 1, then it's going to be that. In the case that it's 3, in the case that is 4, or case else, anything else. You do not have to have an else in there. It's uh, up to you. So let's try this here. I'm going to hit F8. So select case this, case 1, nope, skipped over that. Case 3, no. Case 4, case else. Yes, it is something else than those choices. Invalid choice is now being plugged into cell B2, and it sure did. And in select and in the code. So let's play around with that a little bit. I'm going to put a different choice here. 
let's just make these a little bit bigger and we'll show that those are the ones that we're typing into how about I type in the number 4 and then I'm gonna run our code using alt F8 and it's the only macro we have available so double click on that it says 4 is too much how about if we put 1 and alt F8 we'll rerun our macro it says 1 um, what if I put something completely random like this hit alt F8 and it said invalid choice hmm interesting so that's pretty much how to use case else um, or select case excuse me in the next video we're going to use the next tab and kind of show you how to or we'll probably just use the same tab we'll show you how to use the next phase the next amenity or uh, benefit of using case instead of if then thanks for watching and god bless